She thought she was so careful. She even typed it on the computer so her handwriting couldn't be identified. Her mind raced to think of a way out of this. But before she could say anything, the principal spoke. We know about the letter you gave Nathan, and it's too late. Her life was about to be changed forever because of a few simple words. Before we move on, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notifications bell for new amazing videos. 12-year-old Nathan Cook was like most young boys his age, playful, energetic, and curious. He loved adventures and exploring. He was a very inquisitive kid and loved talking to people. He was also very friendly. Nathan's mom, Dee, had a hard time teaching him about the danger of talking to strangers, as he naturally trusted everyone. She was watching him for a while now. As she drove, she paid attention to what he would say and how he would act. She couldn't help but stare and wonder at how he behaved. Nathan got the bus to school every day. He'd board the bus with other kids from his neighborhood and return from school the same day. Nathan had the same bus driver on most days. Sometimes they changed, but mostly it was Martha. Martha had been bringing kids to school for the past two years. She loved her job, and she loved kids. Nathan had formed a close bond with her. But little did he know that as he rode home from school that day, he would never share another bus ride with her again. Nathan sat with his friend the whole journey back as he usually did. At his stop, he rose and departed just like normal. But something happened that Nathan wasn't aware of. As Nathan waited for Martha to open the doors, she discreetly slipped a little letter inside his bag. It was the first time she did something like this, and she didn't want anyone to see her. She left the letter anonymous, as she really didn't want to get caught singling out particular kids. But she had to admit, she loved Nathan. He was her absolute favorite. Nathan went home that day to do his homework, but before he even realized he had a letter, his mom, Dee, found it. She asked him where it came from, and he replied that he had no idea. Then, her jaw dropped. As she continued reading, her heart began to race. Who gave you this, Nathan, she demanded. I don't know, Mom, he replied. What is it? She asked him where his bag could have been all day, questioning him about where someone could have dropped this in without him realizing. It didn't take long for Dee to realize that this must have been written by his bus driver. She asked Nathan who was driving today, and when he said it was Martha, there was no doubt left in her mind. She had to do something about this. As Dee read her son's letter again, her eyes began to tear. She had no idea why Martha felt the need to write this, and it filled her with so much pain. She always thought she was such a nice woman who went above and beyond for the kids. She called the school. The next day, Martha woke to several missed calls. She wasn't working today, but the school had asked her to come in. There was something urgent they needed to speak to her about. Confused, Martha put herself together and drove to the head office. She entered the office to find the principal, some other board members, and Nathan's mom, Dee, present. Dread rose in her stomach as she began to panic. She even typed it out on the computer so her handwriting couldn't be identified. Dee stared at her with piercing eyes as the principal told her that he was made aware of the letter she gave Nathan. Then, he gave the floor to Dee, who spoke with a gentle voice. This was only the third time they met, so Dee felt the need to introduce herself again. I took the liberty to organize this today, Martha. I received your letter. Before you say anything, I know it was from you. And I want to be here to see the look on your face when you hear what will happen next. Dee said. The principal intervened again to tell Martha that she would no longer have to drive buses as she had been promoted to manager of overlooking all transportation within the school. In her letter addressed to Nathan's mom, Dee, that she was compelled to write, was an admiration and applause for raising Nathan, who had taken it upon himself to look after and befriend an autistic boy on the bus who found the journey difficult. She wrote that she watched him be gentle, kind, and patient with him while all the other kids ignored him and even would make fun of him. She wrote that he had a heart of gold that was only possible with great parenting. She then continued to detail her own struggles as she was younger and how she would have loved parents like them or a friend like Nathan. 
Dee was so overwhelmed with her surprising anonymous letter that she just had to find out who it was and express her thanks. Parenting is tough, so it was a much needed affirmation for her. But when she put two and two together and figured out it was Martha, she just wanted to make sure the school knew of her good deed. However, when she rang, the school had a plan of their own. After she explained what Martha did and the hardships of her past, she asked for some recognition for this woman that kindly and graciously looked after all these kids. But the school mentioned that this wasn't the first time they received a call like this. In fact, they heard amazing reviews for a while and already planned to give her a promotion. A perfect example of how good work and kindness will always reap rewards. Did you like this story? Check out our channel for more.